Hi guys, how you doing? My name is Crystal and welcome to my YouTube channel. If you like my videos, please press the like button. Please do subscribe. It's Wednesday afternoon. The sun is now shining here outside my flat in Rochester. Um, I've got over the conversation with my mother. Um, I feel like I'm being terrorised and frightened uh, to stay indoors for some reason because my mum said to me, if they get rid of her, Jennifer, they'll have a, hard, a lot of hard work to do afterwards. That's what my mum said over the phone to me this morning. And I used to get frightened in Gloucestershire when my mum used to ring up the phone when I was on my own with a small baby. And sometimes I had to ring an ambulance because I was actually shaking with fear. Now I'm on my own with a couple of pets and it's, yeah, it's intimidating what they're doing uh, because they're hiding whatever it is, abuse, what, what they're hiding, what they don't want to come out and they don't want people to see me, to recognise me off YouTube and TikTok, obviously. Probably because they're ashamed of themselves probably ashamed of what they're doing and what they've done and they don't want anybody to find out. So I have to fight to get outside my front door. I have to fight to get out the front of the building. Because I went downstairs just now to see if I had any mail and it feels like this... I've told you how I feel like the flat is bugged and that people are watching and listening as to what I'm saying and doing. I said feel, I didn't say it was 100% certain. So I went downstairs just now, and you can see out of the back, you can see Rochester Railway Station out of the back of my flats, and you can see the builders working on flats near Rochester Railway Station at the back of it. And as I went down the stairs, and they did this at my old address in Gloucestershire as well, and they used to get a bloke to walk up and down the road with a baseball bat. A baseball bat! That's what I had to put up at one of my previous addresses. They used to get a bloke to walk up and down the pavement outside the front of the flats with a baseball bat. Um, so basically I went downstairs uh, to look in my mailbox and to check my electricity meter but uh, I haven't done the meter yet and basically there was this bloke letting his dog piss almost on the communal door so there was a husky dog on a yellow lead and it was almost pissing against the communal door to my flat that's what I saw when I went down to see if I had any post in my mailbox just now. So, I told you that when I went on to the field this morning, there was a builder like Charlie, that horrible bloke that came up to me on the field and tried, tried it on. Uh, this bloke was a little tiny short bloke, like no teeth, and the black hair on his head like he'd stuck his head in a can of boot polish and where the guy had no teeth his cheeks were sunk in so it was a replica of Charlie but a bit smaller so they try and do that as well they try and intimidate you with what frightens you I'm not frightened of Charlie I'm not frightened of him at all what he did was disgusting, but he doesn't frighten me. He doesn't intimidate me. I've actually said to his face to leave me alone. I'm not frightened of him. So, there's no post, which we didn't expect anyway. My mum said to me this morning that, um, oh, if I pass away, they'll have a lot of work to do. I mean, you can't take something when you're not ready for it, can you?
So, I haven't been to the co-op. I haven't been out shopping. Um, you know. But I have had porridge for breakfast. I've had two cups of coffee. I've had some cornflakes with milk. Um, because I, when I get stressed, I suffer from heartburn and it makes my stomach all churn up and I can't eat properly. So I'm eating small meals. Uh, um, and when I come back from walking Max this afternoon, I will cook something to eat. I've got a Cornish pasty. Someone left a Cornish pasty wrapper on the floor, didn't they, this morning? Which was nice of them. Here, are. Cornish pants pasty ginsters. It's out on the 23rd of September. Okay. So I've got a Cornish pasty, see it? I've also got mashed potato, corned beef, burgers, and hot dogs. There's at least an, another two weeks worth of food in this flat. If the bank decides not to send my bank card out or it gets fucked up and lost in the post again. So, this Charlie character doesn't have a shower. He doesn't like showering. He's got no hair, a little bit of curly hair that goes around there. I'm not Charlie. So, um, I've had a shower, I've had a hot shower, I've had food, and I've done three perfect Polish lessons. I've been knocked off the top, top ten spot, but that doesn't matter to me. My phone decided to tell me that I'd been knocked out of the top ten um, students on Duolingo learning Polish, which is fair enough. I'm trying to learn at my own pace. I don't want to rush because you don't learn properly. And um, I've written my diary up from yesterday and, t and, and today in case I need to give it to the police or eventually if it comes to a court case because whenever I ring up the police, uh, will you be willing to give evidence in a prosecution or if this comes to court? And I always say yes. Because I've got nothing to be frightened of or ashamed of. I'm completely innocent. I'm the victim. So I keep writing it down, what they're doing. And what's going on. And how I'm being intimidating. How my mother is using frightening words to frighten me. That's what I feel. She's using words to scare. When I was round my dad, before, long before my dad passed away, she said to me, my dad would go off to the toilet and she'd say to me, Janestra, your father Derek doesn't want any flowers at his funeral. He, he just wants, wants a, like a no fuss funeral. This is months before he died. And I said, Mum, don't talk like that. Dad's not going to die. So, you know, you shouldn't be I shouldn't be punished for what my dad did to me. I shouldn't be punished for it, should I? It should have been reported to the police and my father should, be punished, should have been punished accordingly. You don't take the law into your own hands and punish people unless you've got cast iron proof they've committed a crime and then you should take that evidence to the police. You shouldn't hound somebody to death for something you believe they've done but you're not 100% certain, are you? Bullying someone to death and they've got, they, they're just following the leader. It's like Chinese whispers. They say something 
and then all these other people start following following them but they've got the wrong end of the stick oh so and so has done this and then the whole fucking the whole place knows and then you're followed around by morons that have got the wrong end of the stick And I'm not a violent person, right? But if, if, if you're subjected to what I'm being subjected to, my bank card has been stopped twice this year, which means I go without money and I can't go to the shop and get food to eat, right? And then your next door neighbours start playing up and keep setting dogs off, off on you and swearing at you when you're walking underneath their balcony and that is inciting someone to get cross making them get cross by making their life miserable and unhappy because probably because theirs is or they're jealous jealous something's wrong isn't it something's badly wrong going on here So trying to make my life a misery because it makes them feel better and then pointing me out to people yeah you know that was the final straw that was you know trying to get back on my feet after i'd been bit victimized for about three or four days just trying to go to the co-op to get some shopping uh, and getting like sworn at and coming back feeling awful like you know i felt really terrible And then you try and get back on your feet, forget all about it, and then they fucking start on you again. Doing nothing, sitting in my flat, minding my own business, and they just shout across, across the road. And then I come back yesterday afternoon, and that dog sounds like it's ripping the balcony to shreds. What are they terrorising me for? Fucking move. Where? Where do you want me to move to? Do you think I want to live next door to that? I fucking don't. Terrorising me. Accusing me of taking photographs of, of somebody when it's perfectly legal to film outside because it's a public place. Every time I leave this building, there's two, ca there's three cameras in this building. You get in the lift, you're being scrutinised in the lift. Somebody's looking at you while you're going down in the lift. There's a camera there. There's a camera by the back door. There's a camera by the front. A neighbourhood watch, yeah? Neighbourhood watch. Nobody saw my both my cats go missing, did they? Nobody, nobody saw it. Neighbourhood bloody watch. They're part of it. Watching you all the time. But they don't, yeah, they watch each other's backs. But when something of mine goes missing, nobody sees a thing. Anyway, that's enough of that. I've had a shower. I've had food. I've written up what happened yesterday in my diary. And, um, you know, Huskies pissing on the front of the door. They think they can do what they like because there is no policing. There is no neighbourhood watch. Or they're part of it. The ones doing it are part of the neighbourhood watch. I'm going to get ready to go out. There is no post. I'm not scared to go to the shop. I'm saving my money. And for anybody that thinks that I have no money, right? I've still got the £50 that my mother sent the other day. But I need money for next week. I need food. I need electric. And if I spend it now, I'm not going to have any money next week, am I? I'm not stupid, you know. I was born with brains. See you later.